الكرام سرايا المرابطين استهداف شبابها Basically came here between 12 and 1 and said they've gotten an eviction order from the court to have us evicted. So they came with two lorries, a vehicle and a whole lot of police and they were all here and they said you've got 30 minutes to make any contact you want. After 30 minutes we're just moving in. So that's actually what they did. They got the bolt cutters and they un unlocked because normally between 12 and 2 we um, lock up, we have a quiet time and they got the bolt cutters cut and they started moving everything so and they said by today they said um we out today i spoke to mrs ivy Ripandi and i said please i said um give us two days to at least pack nicely i said we'll be out by monday just give us some time and she refused point blank she said you out today she said she's not going until we out mrs Ripandi is the complainant she claimed she had an offer letter. We also had an offer letter which was removed from the database. We were on schedule 55 or 56, one of the two, and um, we couldn't pay for the offer letter, so we were removed from the database. Okay. We um, still, so our lawyer. Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe what, what's the historical. Uh, maybe of the dispute um, if, if, if you can just briefly give us uh, that okay. Wait, how it started how yes. it started yes, okay yes. so the history of this whole situation when did it start how did it start okay. um, better not mention it no. um, yeah, so it basically it. started with her having an offer letter in 2000 and I think it was 2007 we appealed through court procedures and then the governor at that time gave us um, put us on a schedule um, for an offer letter my lawyer has got that schedule the original copy stamped by the Ministry of Lands and then I was told to come in and get my offer letter from the then Ministry of Land, uh, Lands the minister that was in charge at that time that was in office I mean and when we got there we couldn't pay for the offer letter so during the course of time we got removed from the uh, from the database and hence the result of the situation so mrs rapandi's offer letter is now um official because we couldn't pay for ours okay so what 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 what, what were you supposed to pay uh, that you couldn't pay uh, at the time. What were you asked to pay that you couldn't pay? A um, hundred thousand dollars. All right. US. My US, it is confirmed. Yeah, US. US Wait. dollars. US dollars. All right. Is it supposed to be that way? For you to get an offer later, are you supposed to pay money for anyone to pay no. to get? From what we understand, you don't pay for offer letters. So what? What, what were you asked to pay for? That's what we want to understand. What were we asked to pay for? Um, for the offer letter. Yeah, but it's you're not supposed to pay for an offer letter. So that's. But anyway, yeah. he ha the the minister at that time had the offer letter on his desk. Okay, fine. Um, right. Moving on then. How does this whole scenario make you feel, uh, particularly now at the time when government is talking about uh, compensating? Um, former commercial farmers uh, and even in August there were statements to say no more evictions but that's we've stayed here in good faith believing that we are able to stay we were at the time when the new administration came into power we were all called into Marandera and and told that we weren't will not be disrupted 
but um, right now we actually shocked because we didn't expect this at all. I mean, this has been taken by surprise. Um, totally by surprise. Yes, and um, especially with um, Zimbabwe trying to fix everything, but yeah. So you you are saying you were not given any notification? You were just they just came in today and. Yes. yes. No, I mean, we just heard a vehicle. I said to my husband, there's a vehicle at the gate. And he came out and he took some time. And I thought, well, I wonder where he is. And when I came and looked, I was I was shocked what I saw. And I knew straight away what was happening because there was just so many people, lorries and, and that. And I thought, okay. And But least expected this time of the year. But um, then I recognized the lady immediately, Mrs. Rupandi, who claims to have the offer letter for for the property okay does she have the offer letter for the entire property no for a property? section of the property this particular section there's other claimants that have got offer letters uh, um, on, on other parts of the property so we lease from one of the um, one of the ladies that took the center uh, the, the main section of the farm